Aloha friends. Today we are going to talk about real or nonsense words. And remember nonsense words are those silly words. So let's start out with our strategy. So I want you guys to stretch your arm out and we're going to tap each sound. So let's look at this first letter. The first letter is R and we know R says R. So this middle letter is E and the E says E. Eh. And then this is a D and D says D. So the first thing I did was I made sure I knew what the letters were and the sounds. Now I'm gonna tap each sound. Would you join me? R, E, D. Let's do that one more time. This time I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna kind of slide it down my arm to blend. And when I get to my elbow, I'm gonna say the next sound. And when I get to my hand, I'm gonna say the last sound. Are you ready? Red. Let's do that a little bit faster. Red. Have you figured out what the word is yet? Red. Now, is red a real word or a nonsense word? Red is a real word. It's a color word, just like these beautiful strawberries are red. So I'm going to sort my word red under real words. So when you think of real, think of it's not fake. Let's look at our next one. I'm going to use a different strategy. I'm going to use the strategy of tapping with my fingers. So first, let's say the names of the letters. The letters in this word are B, which we know that sound is B. U says A, uh, and V says V. Let's tap. B, A, uh, V. Let's try it again. B, A, uh, V. Let's blend. Buv, buv, buv. Does that make sense to you? What is a buv? Hmm, I've never heard of a buv before, so that means it must be nonsense, not real. It's a silly word. And when we're sounding out these words, sometimes it's tricky because you're not sure if you're saying it right, especially if it's a nonsense word, but it's okay. We're just gonna say each sound and blend it and read the word, and then we can decide if it's real or nonsense. All right, here's our next one. Let's do the elbows up and let's do our finger tap strategy. First, we're gonna start with saying the letters so we know we know what the letter is and the sound it makes. N for N, A for O, P for P. N, A, P, Nop. Nop, what's that word? Nop. Have you ever heard of a nop before? Maybe in a Dr. Seuss book, but I don't know what a nop is. So thumbs down. That is a nonsense word. So let's put that over in nonsense. All right, our next word, elbows up. Let's say the names of the letters and the sounds that they make. N says N, E says E, T says T. Let's tap. N, E, T. Blend. Net. Blend it a little faster. Net. Net. Have you heard of a net before? Yes, I use a net when I play volleyball. Net is a real word. So we're going to stick it right over there where it says real words. Now, what are some strategies that can help you? Because you're going to do an activity that's just like this. So some strategies that we talked about today are looking at each letter. So over here, we need to make sure we know the names of the letters and the sound that they make. So this is where I think over here in this example, a C says K, just like at, an A says A, ah, like an apple, and a T says T, like tent. Then we put it together. That's where we were tapping, either with our hands or by shoulder, elbow, in our hand strategy. So, k, a, t, 
and then we blend those sounds. So let's use this other example. You start with the beginning sound, then the middle sound, then the ending sound, and then you just kind of say it a little bit faster and a little bit faster until you know what the word is. So great job today learning the difference between real words and silly words and keep practicing. You're just going to get better and better. That's all for today, friends. Goodbye.